Today's channel today we're going to actually install the Avier Media Live Gamer 4K 2.1. Now this is actually their GC575 capture card. Now this capture card is going to do 4K at 144 frames per second pass through while capturing at 4K at 60 frames per second. Now to install this it's going to be quite easy. We're just going to literally take our PC right here. We do have a capture card already in here. We're going to uninstall it. By doing that we're literally going to just pop this over pull off the side panel. Now, of course, you're working with this and we're gonna actually tap some metals and stuff like this. And then we're gonna undo this thumb, uh, thumb screw that's right here that should be loose enough for us to loosen up, right? Uh, so right here, we're just gonna loosen that up and then we're gonna pull out, of course, the capture card that is already there. Now, do be careful when pulling this out because you gotta be cautious with it. Of course, there we go. We have the capture card out. It's just a little small thing. And then we're going to reverse the process by installing, of course, this one. I now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring you guys in closer, drop you guys down lower so you guys can see the install process. Then we'll actually show you guys it lit up. We'll actually show you guys it connected up to the dual monitors and everything else with that. Give me one second. We'll switch views. Okay, now that you're closer, you guys see we're going to actually put it in our PCIe slot right up here. Hopefully you guys can see that. My finger's a little big, so hey, just be cautious. Now you're going to feed it up in there, of course. You're going to make sure that you actually pop it in place. It may take a couple hands, may not. You know, just got to be cautious with what you're doing to actually feed it in properly. Once it's in there, it's going to click in, of course, just like that. You're going to reverse it with the thumb slots. Now you guys can see it up there. Now I know the magnification, of course, the auto zoom and stuff. Let's go a little wonky, but not a big deal. You just reverse thumb screw it, guys, just like this. Uh, make sure it's in there nice and, of course, tight with this. Um, I actually have the wrong screw. Let me grab the right one right here and connect you guys into this. Whoa. Hey, you know, that's the thing when you're not looking, right? So guys, I'm gonna set the thumb screw in, and then I'm gonna turn this around for you guys in one second so you guys can see the back. Okay, now we're on the back, you guys are gonna see the in and output. Input's gonna be whatever device you're ca ca connecting to the capture card. Rather it be your Nintendo Switch, your Xbox, your PlayStation, or another PC. The output's what's gonna go to another monitor, and that's what I'm gonna connect up next, and then we're gonna show you guys it connected up and running off of dual monitors. So you guys give me a second, let me install all that. So hopefully you guys see it there. We do have it powered up, it is lit up, it does have RG GB, and you can control that from pretty much any computer software, rather you be your Asus Raj software or whatever. Now that we have it hooked up, we're going to connect up our another monitor and show you guys it in action. So as you guys see, we have dual monitors hooked up, we have a keyboard and mouse, we have a Nintendo Switch controller, we also have the Nintendo Switch. Literally all you're going to do is to work this because it is driver free. You're going to actually just turn it on and it should play off both monitors. But you will of course need a different software, but at first just to power it on guys without the software because it is driver free, it will connect up because you have that monitor through the pass-through. Pass-through is going to turn this monitor on in a couple seconds and then you're going to see of course the Nintendo Switch game. Uh, we of course are on Zelda. Now with that being said, to record or capture this, you're going to need a capture recording software. Now they do of course offer the Avier Media Rec Central. We're going to zoom you guys on in over here onto the dual monitors. Now with that, we're going to pull up the Rec Central, and of course the ReCentral right here, or Rec Central, uh, is going to pop up. I already had this installed, you'll just go to their website and grab that. Now once you're in there, you guys are going to see of course right here the screen. Now it's going to have a quality over here, optional quality. Uh, you can do good, of course if we want good, it's going to change of course the frames per second. We want optimal. Now, since I'm on 1080p monitors, that's what it's going to do. If you have, of course, a 4K monitor, then it's going to go on to 4K capture and all of that other cool stuff with that. Now, to record it, you'll literally click record or you can hit snapshot. You can adjust the sound for your microphone and your headset. It does have, of course, a mixer audio right here. And you can do, of course, playback sound. Now another cool thing is you guys can go into settings. When you're in settings, you can check for software updates. You can also check for software updates right here on the actual capture card as well for that. If you want to change 
HDCP off, you can do that there as well. If you want to go into your files where you're actually saving uh, your videos and clips, you can do that on the file management. But to record it, you'll literally click that and click record. I'm going to click record and in a minute you guys are going to see a third screen pop up in this video of where I'm actually capturing it. Now of course we're going to do this. We're just going to go jump off a mountain real quick and kind of fly around. Um, with that, of course, you guys are seeing the capture and all three screens. Uh, hopefully, you guys are seeing all three screens pretty well. Uh, of course, with that, if you want to do some stuff, we can throw some fire bombs uh, and stuff like that. That simple, that easy, guys. It's going to capture. It's going to do well. This is a great capture card, plus it has all that RGB look. Very simple to install and, of course, hassle-free. If you guys need the Avier Media... Live Gamer 4K 2.1 might be a great option for you. I want to thank you for watching this. Hope you guys have a great one.